The name of the work is By the Sea. Um, I made it in 2004. Um, it's a 72 second long video um, that's in a way been condensed from a 12 hour performance. Well the work is um, based upon a Caspar David Friedrich painting Monk by the Sea um, which was made in I think it was 1809 and then so I used that as the basis for the work where I <coughs> then stood in for the um, the paint the figure in the painting um, I stood upon the cliff for 12 hours from um, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the first time I did it I was actually hospitalized um, so I actually sort of suffered exposure and had to be resuscitated there was a lot of fear that I wouldn't be able to do it and that sense of it being in the work and being you know sort of a, knowing that I had to stand there for 12 hours for there to be a work and sort of think, am I going to be able to do this, was something that I had to sort of keep thinking about, but then I had to sort of also push to the back of my mind because when the doubts came in, I did start to feel terrible. I mean, there's, there's a certain point um, in the film where you'll see that there are actually cracks of lightning and it starts to pour down, raining. Um, and, you know, and I was freezing, you know, like, and crying. And it was, you know, like, it was truly horrific, like, horrific, like, it was not... Like wasn't a very fun thing to do, um, and so re there is that sense that knowing that the first time I did it, um, that it, I mean it could fail, and that you know like I, I got the stock back from that, and there was an image, and it was beautiful, but but it ran for about you know sort of three seconds, and I mean that wasn't that wasn't the work, that wasn't what I wanted, um, and so there was a really yeah true sense of fear, I guess, but then that fear was a ready built sort of determination to actually get through it which I guess goes back to the idea of it being, you know, an endurance performance and, you know, in a way that, um, you know, my work, you know, in that one too is that, you know, that, that, these, that sense of, you know, sort of, again, like the realisation and, you know, sort of sublime, in many ways it's sort of, I, I think, quite a, like, big macho, you know, sort of, you know, sort of, you know, big thinkers, big men, you know, big philosophers dealing with the big issues and then me being this quite little figure trying to sort of do it and, um, I guess in that way that that sense of yeah the trepidation and determination sort of yeah like my patheticness and my trembling sort of undercuts that notion of the macho and the big idea. Caspar David Friedrich's painting was said to be a self-portrait and all of my work whether in video or photography is essentially you know self-portrait should practice but I never see it as myself I'm always standing in for myself um, and I guess yeah in that way um, yeah, the endurance is not so much, like it's not me, you know, actually sort of standing there. It's sort of me as a figure that then will have this sort of, yeah, neurotic sense of it. I mean, the formal aspects of the work, you know, again, you know, sort of the use of film, you know, as opposed to video, you know, to address the question before, you know, being a video artist, like, I mean, that work is shown on DVD, but it was itself, you know, shot on film and then transferred, you know, sort of, um, you know, telecine to make it digital. Um, but yeah, the, in, in, a, in, a, in a really big way, that the, the sort of idiosyncratic nature of film. I don't think that, that I mean that, I don't think that work could be made, you know, using video. Um, even in the idea that it's it's the actual burning of the film that makes the work. You know, it's a German school of romanticism, and you know the figure. Um, you know, is sort of confronting, you know, confronting the sublime, he's, um, you know, like looking for, you know, sort of spiritual enlightenment, um, you know, a sense of something more where I stood in it, you know, sort of in a way to, you know, sort of suggest that, you know, I, I didn't expect anything to happen and nothing did happen. I just got very sore, you know, very tired, cold, and I just wanted to go home. There was no sense of, you know, revelation that's sort of implicit within the, the, the initial work. Um, in a way, it's sort of something I'm quite interested in is, you know, sort of lampooning what you love. And so in a way, I really love, um, you know, that sense of romanticism and that sense of the bigness and the wonder. But in the same way, I can't really see it having a real thing in my life. So it's a way of sort of, yeah, sort of making fun, but then also, you know, sort of paying homage as well to a, you know, an idea that I find is quite beautiful.